evening all. So today we're looking at actually how you create a new character. This is a way to beat the skill cap because when you skill up, when you're sorry, when you cap out, you should actually just be moving to an alt. Um, Eve works exactly like this. You have multiple characters that you basically just skill up and in Dust you'll penalize less so uh, we'll look at that today. But this is actually how you create a new character. Now I'm going for Mimitar and um, you then have the various uh, tribes I guess or the bloodlines. Uh, Brutor are generally the fighter so I've gone for that and um, just because I want to show equality I'm going to have a female character this time as well. Um, so you then have some options in terms of what type of fit you have. So an Arbiter there is more of a shot, uh, a sniper. You then have your enforcer, who's more of a kind of assault gunner, and so on. You then have um, the uh, sentinel fit, which is, I guess, is more of a heavy. So you have the ability to kind of have heavy suits and such. And then finally, the artificer is actually a logistics style person so repping healing that kind of stuff um, so depending on how you want to kind of complement your play um, this is something I really would stress is really good for everyone to do because if you've never seen lasers before or you've never used mass drivers before well start a new character and play with them you know this is this is how you get everything from the game um, and you have three characters and all three can be skilling up at the same time passively uh, one gets a boost obviously but then the others um, you, know, you can basically just switch and every time you hit your skill cap move to your next character and so on um, now there is a little trick here in terms of how you can get benefit here as well if you have all of your three characters in the same corp um, and you actually own that corp you're a director of that corp you can move isk around as well so if I maybe earn half a million isk or you know a million isk on my main character I can then just give that to the corp wallet and then the corp wallet can give it back to a player okay now I believe that's the case we haven't actually tried that yet but I'm certainly told that's how it's being done currently Okay, so in terms of I think then just uh, creating your character, obviously you have to be careful what you name them, you can't put any dots and stuff like that in it. That's actually my EVE PvP ult, uh, Captain Azroth, and um, I'm just creating him a second clone, <laughs> so he can basically get out of his rifter and come fight. So there we go, we now have my, I have my three characters, one Kaldari, one Amar, and one Mimitar, and uh, no love for the Galante, I'm afraid. So an interesting point to bear in mind is that every single character race has a you different quarter. So naturally, this is the Mimitar one. It's uh, it's a cupboard, which is nice. Um, the Amar obviously have that very plush, open, you know, shiny floored place on the top floor. The Kaldari obviously have the laboratories or the 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 factory style ones, and then the Mimitar they have the basement. So yes. <laughs> kind of representative and look look how ghetto this is I mean it's like oh my god <laughs> and look at the crappy screen they get the crappy sofa is it's just ridiculous anyway we'll do a thing on that because it's pretty funny the difference between all of them so this is a brand new character and as you can see uh, you start obviously with 500k skill points already assigned but then you have say 300 plus to assign for you so and again in terms of the fits you'll notice you start with a standard fit in this case the artificer um, and then you always have your four fits to do with anti-armor, frontline, medic, and sniper. So I think the key thing here is, you know, you want to try and get as much flexibility into your fits as possible. So, you know, I've gone Mimitar this time. So one of the things that I uh, do whenever I start a new character is I say, right, what do I want this character to do? So in my previous character, which was Amar, I decided I want him to be a beast with lasers. I wanted him to have heavy suits. I wanted him to be, you know, basically that kind of character. Um, with the Mimitar one, I really like the idea of remote repping, logistics, um, even when it comes to things like the mass drivers as well, you know, very much a Mimitar weapon. So I'm, I'm keen to kind of keep the racial stereotype going um, and, and keep the... Uh, the Mimitar doing Mimitar things and the Amar doing the Amar things. Now we will look at Galante um, probably on my main, but currently you're limited to three, which kind of sucks, but there we go. Um, so all I'm doing here is, again, in terms of what I would advise on very quick skills to buy is the demolition skill. You probably can't afford it right now. Well, I can actually, but I won't buy it. But 
you you know things like remote explosives are a great source of control so you know they they have a strategic and a, and a comedy part to them so <laughs> i think they're well worth investing in um but at this point already i'm trying to think about what do i want to maybe do with this suit so i'm pretty much saying logistics drop suit the mimitar one is where i want to go so I'm already now looking at what the requirements are. I'm looking what the fit would be for that. So you'd have remote reps, you'd have, um, you know, the medical revival tool, you'd have, you know, all of these good things would be part of that fit. So, you know, what I'm trying to do is basically keep it all, um, you know, together, um, if you like, when it comes to the fit. Now, for those of you who've never played EVE, let me just explain. EVE Online is a game where a very low skill pointed player who specialized in one combat style, lasers, mass drivers, for example, will beat a general player who could have, you know, three or four times the skill points of that character because specialization is the key. It really is. So this is something to bear in mind. If you if you are going to create alts or if you're doing this on your main, that's even better. Um, you want to try and specialize. If you just become a jack of all trades with all the skills and blah, 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 then... Um, you, you're going to be effective, but you're not going to be um, super effective, a killer, let's say. And uh, you're going to get wiped out by someone who's put all of their skill points, as I'm doing here, into, you know, armor repping, mass driver, one, two, three, four. You know, you're going to get owned because um, that person has just literally got the, the, the side, you know, their side. Um, so, again, just some words here on the boosters. Um, obviously, I'm kind of trying to put passive boosters on everything. It's quite expensive, but... Um, I think at the moment, this front end of the game, I'm kind of keen just to show you as much footage as possible. So um, I'm putting the passive and active booster on. And I'm also going to do the UVT because we're now talking to our EVE buddies. In our, We have a shared channel uh, that we link the Dust and EVE Corp with. And um, we're actually now talking in that channel with EVE players. So And it, it's just particularly awesome. So um, you have to do a UVT for that, but that's perfectly you know, cool because they, they last for a month and they're only a thousand or aurum, sorry, not aurium. Um, and as you can see, we've just activated that. Now, there is, there's a significant cost to this. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of showing you this because I guess I'm kind of cash rich time poor, but <laughs> I think, you know, I couldn't do this all the time. It would be a bit pricey, let's say, but um, certainly just to get this character started, I don't mind kind of putting uh, you know, that in. So what we're now going to do is, you know, I've got my kind of uh, artificer set. One of the things I really want to try and get is, um, you know, is mass drivers. So I'm actually going to go and look at the skills to do that now. Now, again, really, the, I think there's quite a nice feeling to do this. You know, it, felt, it always feels nice starting a new character because you can kind of just say, well, what do I want to do with this character? And this one, I think, um, I had mass drivers used against me on a map by some goons, and they were pretty good with it. So I was uh, really keen to do mass driver um, uh, character. So, um, and, and again, the way I would stress that you kind of get your benefit is you do go kind of, you know, you go, you go balls in to try and get everything you can um, in terms of levels. So, you know, here I'm kind of, you know, doing a bit of umming and ahhing over what to do, but in the end, yeah, mass driver. And I think the, uh, the, the premise here, because you've got these unallocated skill points with every new character is I could already put this to level three. Okay. So that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. So already I'm now using the particularly good level three rifles, the named rifles and, um, you know, I'm kind of away already. So it's a bit expensive. So for the first few rounds, I was having to be a bit careful with the old deaths and that. But I think the reality was is that straight out the box, you know, I was kind of getting 50 kills plus with only a couple of deaths because this mass driver was, um, you know, is particularly good and I've gone straight to the, the good one. So, you know, do, copy this tactic. Oh, I'm not going to buy that, am I? <laughs> so just looking again at some of the hits, you see here, you know, good, good direct hit, very nice splash damage as well. And I think the blast radius of five meters is pretty decent. So... You know, it, I used these, you know, I used these actually a while ago and they weren't particularly great, but as you can see, they're pretty good now. And um, I'll show you some footage of this in another video, but they were just insane. They they literally were, um, you know, crazy. I also, I like this fit for the logistics suit as well. So I think, you know, it's, it's always good to mix and match it up a bit. Um, this one had a remote rep and it also had an armor repper on it. So, you know, it was, it felt a bit strange running around where actually I was able to run and hide and then, you know, basically armor up. And I guess it's just because of the, maybe the modules or it's just because of the suit, but I actually was able to get shield back pretty quickly as well. So, you know, pretty decent. Um, and I think that worked, you know, quite cool. 
Uh, just to notice there, I've noticed I've got a sidearm um, uh, damage mod on this seat. So that's no good, because obviously I'm using a large gun now, or a light gun rather. So I need to then go and look at some of the, um, the modules to buy. And again, I'm not going to do the blueprints on all the characters, but I think with this one you could just get away with doing, you know, the odd module like that. And militia gear is good. I would stress, buy one of everything and, you know, you've got then um, all the fits that you could possibly ever want. Um, you know, in terms of theory crafting, and again, bearing in mind, this is something to bear in mind. L militia gear takes a lot more power grid and CPU than basic gear. So, once you get a suit that you're particularly comfortable with, upgrade it then to basic gear, and then upgrade it then to the next level beyond. Once you get the skills, because again, I know you have to then factor in that that suit's going to start losing you money, a lot of money. Um, in fact, this suit that you see here with just the um, as you can see, I'm just setting them up with the one with the mass driver, the level three mass driver. I think was actually I think 30k per suit, so it was, it was phenomenally expensive. Um, but having said that, I, you know, the first few matches I played, I hardly died, so it kind of weighed up. And then when you start to get into a map where you know you're going to just die over and over, just use the, the front line fits, the assault fits rather, because they're free. They don't cost you any isk. Okay, so I've got an SMG artificer suit and mass driver suit, and then I've got my four. Uh, standard suit. So there we go. And then basically, I played for about three maps, capped on this one as well, and then basically had um, you know all three characters skill capped and leveled up, and the isk was flowing. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.